Hello and welcome back to... Oh, no. What's going on, guys? This is SJ Sports, and welcome to a video on my YouTube channel that has literally... I've not even focused on YouTube for, for months, and I apologise for that. There's, there's other reasons for it. I'll probably do a video on that if you want to know about that a little bit later on down the line. However, we have been playing a lot of FM over the last sort of few days, and I play a lot of FM off a of stream, off of recording and stuff, and I've started this save with Weymouth. It's, half, it's not halfway through. The season has started, and I had people in my stream chat saying, why didn't you make this into a series? So we are. If I just go to the um, the schedule, you can see we are well, way, way into the season, but we'll get to that bit in a little bit later on. If you want to see some more of FM videos and you do enjoy this series, please leave a like on the video. It would be greatly appreciated. More likes means... You guys want to see this and one thing i will say is that it is all live streamed on twitch so everything in the schedule here has been live streamed on twitch so if you guys um you can come ahead and watch and be a part of the series as well because we've got a good audience over on twitch um i, I don't get many viewers i get 10 maximum but the people that are in there are my my die hard hawk hardcore fans i would say that they're in every stream no matter what game i stream so link for that will be in the description go ahead follow I will be going live. Make sure you follow me on my social media as well because I can't really get to grips with a schedule because of a busy lifestyle and stuff and streaming other games and whatnot. But um, I will do um, a tweet maybe at the start on Monday of my streaming schedule, what each day is going to consist of streaming, uh, what game. So Monday might be FM, Tuesday might be a different game. Uh, Wednesday might be off because I might have to get some stuff done for this series, YouTube series. At the minute, it's all going to be, it's all going to be up in the air for me. But... It is what it is. So we decided to do um, a Weymouth League, and the title of this video is Non-League to Wear. The reason why I've called it Non-League to Wear is because I don't know where this series is going to go. Um, we're just going to go with it, roll with the punches, and see how we get on with everything. So, squad, this is our squad at the minute. We have got some really good players in here. We'll talk about our transfers first, because um, up to Lincoln, Ethan Ross coming in, we have signed these players here, the highlighted players. This guy, I was a little bit disappointed that signed him because he's only two star and his potential is not particularly great. But he's 19. Um, I'm hoping that he can improve massively. He plays on the left hand side or the left wing back. I was using a formation that did include um, a wing back, but that has now changed because I get to the the results afterwards. So we're meeting the players. This guy I got on a free as well. Not too bad. We needed some centre backs. He can improve. Good four star potential. And also play in the CDM role, but he's not really established in that role. So we're dropping him in to a central defender. Also, we signed this guy as well, which was a bit of a coup for the uh, for the side. History, he was on at West Ham United. He was released. We looked at him, and he looks pretty decent for this level. Hopefully, he can improve. He has determination of 18, and at age of 23, he may be getting on to his prime years and stuff like that, but... At this level, he is a really good player. Three, three and a half star, uh, and his potential ability is four and a half, so he can still improve because of his, determ his determination there. He's very quick as well, so the right back position, I do like to have my right and left backs with a little bit of pace. On to James Bailey next, then. This guy, um, okay, I needed some cover in centre midfield, not too bad. He is uh, 32 years old, but I needed a centre midfielder in, and it's three star, three star, three star. Again, he's not really going to improve because of his age and stuff, but we've got him in for just experience. I think we signed a one-year deal with him, which was nice. And we also got this guy, Thomas Sang Loan from Cardiff City. In-game, this guy is an absolute beast. He really does dominate our midfield. He does play in the CDM position there. Um, his preferred role is half-back, but I think I've been playing him. Uh, yeah, you can see I've been playing him in a deep-lying playmaker position, um, and it's been working really, really well. We'll talk about tactics a little bit later on. Uh, so that's my transfer business. In terms of stuff, players going out, we haven't got any players going out. I will be looking to bring in more players and stuff to improve this side. If we go over to, um, if we go over to Club Info, one thing that really did catch my attention to Weymouth was a boy called Tyler. Um, he's one of my one of my friends now that I've met through YouTube and Xbox and stuff. He said do a Weymouth. It's where he's literally from. And the media prediction is 23rd, so it's not. It's going to be a challenge. I don't expect us to go up. We are actually flying high in the league at the minute in fifth place. Uh, with eight games in, we've won five, we've drawn one, and we've lost two. I think we lost our first two games of the season. Uh, we'll take a look at that now. No, sorry, we, we beat Bromley 1-0, and then we did lose our next two games, not counting all the shots. Then we drew to Southend, and then 
the form started coming. As you can see, we won in the FA fourth round qualifying round two one at home against Eastbourne. We played Yeovil, who Yeovil are our rivals in this, and we beat them uh, at home by two goals to one. You can see the goal scorers Dominic Reven, and we also uh, is that Cook or is it Bonke? I can't work out who scored that. It's it's a bit weird. Um, then we went to play Greensby. We won one 0 again. Oh, I love a clean sheet. I love a clean sheet on FM. Uh, we definitely got it with uh, Fonku. I don't know how we say his name. We're going to call him Fuck You because that's pretty much as close as it's going to get for me. So he he scored. He's a decent player, really good player already at the club. Then we played Maidenhead, which we won three one again. So we we strung up three wins in the Van the Vanarama National League in a row. And Ben Thompson got himself a hat trick. And he also missed a penalty. Thompson is a 31-year-old striker. I've been told by Tyler to play him. He scored like 40 goals for him in his second season with Weymouth. He says, play him, shoot, play him, shoot. And I was like, looking at his stats, I wasn't a massive a massive fan of his stats because finishing nine, okay, decent acceleration. His pace is not too bad. Um, but we just thought, Do you know what? I'm going to stick him in. And he, paid, he, he got his reward with me. Uh, he got his reward for me with... Free with a hat trick. I think his hat trick came. He, he missed a penalty on the 18th minute. We was two 0 up after about 14 minutes, and his penalty was on the 16th minute. He could have had a hat trick in literally that amount of time. Then the disappointing of the season, the FA Cup first round, we was beaten to Farsley, and honest to God, this game was was pretty good. was pretty good. It had everything. We lost on penalties. It was a shame. It was a game that we should have won. Like the Notts County and Aldershot, we, should, we could have beaten Notts County. We had the better possession, we just couldn't score. And the same with Aldershot. And it seemed to be a theme uh, for the Pfizer game uh, where we just couldn't find the back of the net. And then we ended the stream on the 14th of November, which is weird because that is actually my birthday. Uh, and we picked up another fantastic three points at home against Dagenham and Redbridge. Uh, and you can see Bolinga getting on the score sheet there and Cody Cook, who Cody Cook... I don't understand why his attributes are going down at the minute, um, but he is is it is a star player and is in his prime years for this league and division. He is one of the most vital players ever, but he hasn't really performed for me. You can see he's had eight appearances and he's only scored two goals. However, he's got himself three assists. I may have to look at his uh, at the role that I'm actually playing him in. Um, so that was the schedule, and we'll kick, take a quick look at the league table again. Fantastic Dover. Are flying high. Apparently, Dover are down in twenty third. One thing I haven't have forgot to mention to you: if we go to the Premier League very quickly, I did on the editor. I did the promotions. So Norwich, Brentford went up. Wherever Brentford are, Brentford are in eleventh. First came up Norwich, Brentford, and Watford, and Watford in fourteenth. So Sheffield United, sorry Sheffield United fans, but you are in the Championship on my save and the standing proud at top of the table. On of, with four points clear ahead of Cardiff. Fulham are also in there and West Bromwich Albion are having an absolute shocker of a season. Bournemouth, as well, to speak about them, they are affiliates, so we'll be getting players on loan from them. To be honest, I haven't really dipped my toes into the low market because I just haven't really fancied going in on the low market. It's just one of those that I've not been... Um, not being bothered about just yet because I'm quite happy with the squad. We do have a guy called Andrew Dallas on loan, which is from uh, Cambridge United. I'm not a massive fan of him. He's just there because he has good finishing, I suppose, but I just don't see, I just don't see him featuring. Um, he's not my type of player, three star. Um, he's decent, don't get me wrong. So that is basically the squads, everything like that. It's a bit of a recap. Um, I don't really like to do videos like this i would rather have shown the first two games of the season then streamed and record but because people in my stream chat were saying why do you upload this to youtube and it's like the only way i can do that is by doing this this is the formation we've been playing and um, it's been working really well camp is an outstanding player that we've got on loan from bournemouth which was he was already at the club he is so good in game he really is and reven as well um he's on loan from aston villa again what a player really good player at this level can play left back as well um, but centre back is his preferred position. I do need to work on my left back position. I feel this is the left back, the best left back I have got. Um, where is? Let me just have a look at dynamics. My squad. Uh, where, where is it? Where do I find team report? Look at my squad depth. Then, if we filter and if we just go minimum free start, look at that. There's not many team players in our team that can actually play 
at, at a decent level. Cook is good. McCoy is good. Um, that's, Josh McCoy is actually pretty decent. I am playing him in the camp position at the minute. He does run through. He's actually coming back from injury. He did get injured. Um, I think he played his last game and he did. Um, he, did he was tired. I forgot to change him. Uh, change him off. But he can also play on the right as well. We've got Shields as well, who's a massive important player to us. Young lad. Uh, well, his photos look young. He's 28 years old, Northern Irish. He's not a bad player. Good at this level. Uh, but we were looking to improve the squad. Uh, see, Reven can actually play left back, so I may. But then I've got I've got Mensa who can play centre back. Who didn't I sign him? His name seems to ring a bell. Uh, I'm sure I signed him. Did I sign Mensa? I can't have done. I can't have done. So only, these are the only players that I did. That I did sign. Um, but I'm gonna look in, I've, I found a new way as well of looking at um, players to buy and stuff like that, which we're testing out on stream. Which actually, after we record this, I'm gonna stream this game. Um, but like I said, the link for that will be in the description. You can check that out. Um, do we have any players on non-contracts? Uh, this Michael Parker we do. However, whatever it is, I'm just going to call him Michael Parker. Uh, was at Liverpool. Um, he's not too bad. I'm hoping he can improve at 22 years old. Determination 12. His potential ability is four star. Um, one thing to note as well is the, the star ratings are for the current division you're in. So if we go promote, we get promoted, he might go down to one and a half star. He might go down to two stars. It all depends on this form how much I do play him because I haven't really been playing him much because he will be on an appearance fee. Um, so finances wise, we need to look after it. We're on 17,000 at the minute. We are currently overspending on our wage budget. We do have quite a high wage budget at 12,000 pounds, but we are currently, we're currently spending, yeah, 13, let's say. So we're looking to get players out. Um, we do have some high earners in Ethan Ross, our goalkeeper at 700 pounds a week. We also have, um, Alex Pike as well at seven hundred uh, and seventy-five pounds a week. That's a lot of money, but I felt like we need right back. We had no players when we first came in, so it was a position I really wanted to sign. And I'm hoping that he improves along the way, and we may be able to sell him in the future. Dominic Reven, obviously, and Ben Camp are on. Uh, Brendan Camp are on loan, not taking much of the wage budget there. Uh, Sean Shields as well. If he wasn't such a good player for us on the save. I honestly, I, I I think I'd get rid of him. Looking at his stats, though, he's made eight appearances. And he's only got two assists, but he is a regular starter. Um, we have played eight games. He's, he's started in every single game. Um, but maybe that's something to look at going forward is getting rid of getting him off our books. Uh, Fonku, again, 650. He's not too bad. He was at Norwich City. Um, he's been out to free to, to ask he lent and Bora, but he is an actual pretty decent player for this level. Um, even though his stats may say otherwise in game, he's not too bad. But that is pretty much it. In terms of ability, our best player in the squad is Cody Cook. Um, four star. And then next is three loans that nothing to do with me. And then we've got Alex Pike, who I did sign um, for free. And then Josh McCoy, who's already at the club as well. I don't know where he... I don't know what, how old is Josh McCoy. He's 30 years old. So he is getting on a little bit. So... Um, his wages, though, is making me keep him at the club because he's at four hundred pound a week. That is pretty cheap, considering I've got. All... Why is it? Why is it reset that? Um, it's pretty cheap considering there's a lot of players here that don't feature. Like this guy, he comes on, he does a little bits, but again, for seven hundred, five hundred and seventy-five, I may have to get rid of him. But um, this guy Belinga, his stats don't look great, but he's he has actually he's made twelve appearances for us. Um, I think yeah, I've got him at playing at under 23s as well. I think he plays there um, because he's only 19. He's available for the under 23s. He's got three goals and he's got two assists. But in the first team, he's made three appearances, two as a substitution, two as a substitution, and one goal. Um, so that's basically that. Club vision. This is what the board wants us to do. It's pretty. Oh God, it's pretty um, easy really. They don't really have any plans to get the club promoted in the next sort of five years. It's just literally being established for a national team. But I have other plans and you guys on stream have other plans as well with us. We're working with a way budget. You can see we're struggling that. So we may, we may see some players go out of the club. Um, let's take a look at this manager performance then. It's an A plus to summarise the board. I feel we are doing an unbelievable job and I clearly are the right manager for the job. They're delighted with the uh, National League performance. Uh, delight with the finances involved in, in the deal to bring Thomas Sang in on loan. Honestly, in-game, this guy is unbelievable. He really is. He's such a great player. I'm hoping that I can actually 
try and sign him up at the end of the season. Um, and they're very pleased with our one-all draw against Southend United as well, um, which is bizarre. The board delighted with a one-all draw, but I think Southend are one of the favourites to go up. Is the where's the, uh, general media? Oh, media prediction twentieth. I don't know why they're happy with that. I, I don't. Understand. Why are they with twentieth? That's that's mental. They are, however, disappointed with Alex's Alex Pike's recent performances. I've had a word with him. I've told him you need to sort yourself out. And James Bailey as well, who is. 32-year-old, I feel like I might get rid of him. Um, he's not been at the club very long at all. It was one of the signings I did. He's only got to play the match once in eight, which is not bad, actually, uh, and one goal, but his average is 6.8 in the performance race. I did do a senior affiliate right at the start. That's why I cancelled it. Well, well the board cancelled it for me because we have Bournemouth, which is, which is fine. Um, so that's pretty much it everything else is there we're going to be live on Twitch very shortly we're going to play some more Football Manager I will show some games eventually I'm, I was going to do some put it onto the end of this video but I feel like I've waffled on way too much I want the video to be like five hours long I've gone into quite a lot of depth with the side um, tactics I, I yeah basically I've not mentioned much about tactics this is a plug and play tactic that I found however I do have a backup tactic available to me as well which i've made myself which this isn't it um which is what i've been playing this is the formation we started off playing in and we were, where i wasn't scoring many goals you can see why i bought in bolinga because he could play that role um i know he's not established but his pace he's fast um i do like my fast players and um, so he's going to do a job but i found a new technique as well to how to search for players on loan how to try and that free agents and stuff because as you can see our budget is zero. We need to work on our wage budget in the stream as well. I'm going to head off. Hopefully you're excited for this. Next episode will and hopefully have some, some actual gameplay involved in it because I feel like this is an introduction video and a catch-up video. It's not ideal, but we're well into the save now. I didn't want to let my, my viewers down on Twitch, so sorry for you on YouTube. Um, but every time I upload on Twitch, oh, stream on Twitch, sorry, it will be uploaded a day or two after. So if you want to watch it whole live, you can come over and check us out over on Twitch. Link for that will be in the description as always. I'm going to head off now. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.